good day everyone. My name is Constance Suez and this is my sister Laverne. And today we're going to share with you some of our Christmas treats that we do together as a family and that we find a great joy in sharing with our family and friends every year. Today we're going to do panchakram, sorrel, ginger beer, and Laverne is going to show you some of our skills on cake decorating. Now the first thing we're going to do this, this morning is panchakram. Panchakram is one of the uh, staples, that's a good word? Yes, yes staples. staples of our Christmas um, experience here in Trinidad and Tobago. And while many people make panchakram in different ways, I'm going to share with you the way I make it. And um, I hope you'll be able to enjoy it. So one of the first things we have to do is get our mixing bowl. Now it's best to mix your panchakram in a stainless steel bowl, all right? So I have my stainless steel bowl here. But we're going to um, steal what first is our eggs. Now, some people do not use eggs in their pantry, right? but it's completely up to you when I use eggs, all right? So I like to add to the bowl, all right? I have my eggs here. Three eggs, okay? And I like to add to the bowl to add the lime peel to the eggs. Right. Okay, and so let me just stop you. So why are we adding lime peel? Oh, okay. Now, it's um, lime peel is, is very important to add to the eggs. Alright? Now, we are sure that and see that, you know, eggs fresh. Alright? <laughs> um, so what the eggs, or what the lime peel does, it, it neutralizes that freshness. Okay, so it's very important that we add the lime peel. Now for this recipe, this is the, this is the peel of half of a, um, a medium sized lime. So it's important that you just add it. So before you add the lime, just like you to mix, just mix the eggs a little bit. All right, it's gonna be a tad noisy, but it won't be for long. Is that enough? More? Yeah, a little bit. Mm. Two pulses, three pulses. Four pulses. Excellent. She's doing well, isn't she? Alright. <laughs> Very good. So, what I like her to do next. She's such a good sister. Just add the lime peel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Give it a little mix. Yeah. While she's mixing, just mix, just mix for a few seconds and set aside. Okay, so what we like to do next is to add our dairy products. <laughs> so, what I have here is four packs, 350 milliliter packs of evaporated milk. Here I have two and a half cans of condensed milk. Of course you use your own brand and we're going to add it to the mixing bowl. Right, add it to the mixing bowl. Right, very good. Then we add our condensed milk. See, panchakram is really the art of mixing. Eh? So, take it. make sure that your mixing skills are on. All right. And then comes to the most interesting part of our panchakram. Now, I have in this bottle here, I have brown rum. Okay, so I'm going to add the brown rum. Now, a lot of people, they would use different kinds of rum. Uh, they would use like... Panchakram, uh, not panchakram, punchin. Punchin. Uh, people use white rum. People use... Um, so some people even use whiskey. However, my preference really is to use brown rum. Um, as I think it, it's a lot smoother than the final product, okay? I have here. Cups, liquid cups, eh? liquid cups of rum, two at first. Then for the mixture cake, okay, you add one more, one more cup. Okay, so I, I added three cups, three liquid cups, eh? which is totally different to a little tip here, which is totally different to dry ingredient cups, right? Two different things, okay? Now rum is something, a bunch of creme, 
that you could add as much as you like, right? So this is, I add this amount, but you can add as much as you like, make it as strong as you like, make it a, as you say, on your chest, <laughs> all right? So, we move on. So the next thing we're going to do is add our spices or essence, as they say. So the banana hand me, a little jar there, and in this jar, right, I have a mixture of vanilla essence, I have a mixed essence, and I have bitters. All right, there's one tablespoon of each, okay? This is something you also, you can add as much as you like. If you add more, if you want more, you can add more. If you want less, you can add less, okay? So add it in. Okay, thank you. And what I'd like the will to do with me now is... I'm gonna read something. <laughs> nutmeg, right? That's with nutmeg. It's just about an inch, right? An inch in, <laughs> in length, all right? And we're gonna do half of this nutmeg, okay? Does it matter which way, which half? <laughs> <laughs> all right. And while she's doing this, this is the mixing part. Mix and mix. Let's see, Pantricum is really, as I say, the art of mixing. Alright? You get near the aromas of the nutmeg already. So, I mean, this is one of the things that reminds me of that Christmas is really, really around the corner and I start to smell nutmeg <laughs> while making my Pantricum. So if I don't want to create this nutmeg, can I use a powder nutmeg? Oh, definitely. You can definitely use powder nutmeg. However, I find my property fresh nutmeg is always it's better. It gives you a better flavor, a better taste. It also um, it adds to the um, the aesthetics, I should say. When you see the nutmeg there floating around, <laughs> you know that your nutmeg is there. All right. Think they're about half. Yes. Half inch. Okay. Very good. So we keep stirring. All right. And the last thing we're going to do is adding those eggs. No, not not yet. All right. So, no, don't remove the peel yet. Okay. Let's add it in. Mm -hmm. No, put the peel in. Yes. Yes. All right. So. What we're going to do is the next minute, just keep stirring. <laughs> so we stir, just leaving in the lime peel for a while so that you'll be able to, as they say, neutralize the freshness of the eggs. I have a question. Uh-huh. What about the fact that the eggs are not cooked? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there are two things. Okay. It, it is possible to cook your eggs, right, if you want to eliminate the possibility of, um, you know, people would, um, would get sick from raw eggs and that kind of thing. Okay, so you can, just before you add the ingredients together, you can take a bit of the milk, right, and put it on top of a double boiler, that's really, on top of a um, boiling pot of water, gently boiling, all right, add a little bit of the milk and add the eggs and stir it comes a thick consistency, all right, and the eggs uh, are cooked partially before you add it. So you can do that it's, it's, um, if you prefer, if you want to be, you know, extra careful, extra sure. Okay. All right? But adding eggs raw, as we say, is not, um, no, it's not, but it, it is possible to use it um, in this raw form. What helps this is the rum. Okay. Uh, it helps preserve the integrity of the punch of them and also helps, um, um, it helps you not get ill, so to speak. All right. So if you use, if you do go the cooking eggs way, then you'll find that it will have a better outside life. All right. When you use raw eggs, it's important to, of course, it will last a little while on the shelf, but it's important for you to refrigerate it, right, and keep it refrigerated. It can be kept refrigerated for a long time, for months. All right. Okay. So I think. Uh, this is already right i've been stirring for over a minute so what you'd like now is this kind of consistency all right okay slightly thick 
Okay? I wish, you, I wish there was some kind of smell of smell of vision. <laughs> so you'll be able to smell the yeah. But I can smell it and I can see that it's, it's wonderful. Yes. Very good. want to have some right now. <laughs> Alright. So, really, very, very simple. This is your punch of So what I'm going to do is transfer punch of And now it's when you take out your line peel. Make sure that there's no line peel in there. <laughs> You're going to transfer to this lovely jug here. Can I have one of the paper towels? Sure. All right. Transfer. So wish me luck with this. Go in there. All right. Perfect. There you have it, your Christmas puncher. Uh, to serve it, you can add a little cinnamon stick to it and a little bit of nutmeg for the top. And there you have it, your Christmas puncher pen. Hope you enjoy it.